and hello to all the Windows Live Movie Maker users out there and watching this video on YouTube. I've created yesterday Windows Live Movie Maker fans channel and actually this channel is called Live Movie Maker. As you can see here, Live Movie Maker all together without any spaces. If you look it up in YouTube, you'll find this channel and I'll be uploading tutorials about the Windows Live Movie Maker. Plus, if you have any kind of suggestions or comments or feedback or any kind of specific request for specific particular uh, tutorial, please uh, message me or post a comment uh, on my uh, on my videos or inside the the channel uh, and please like as much as you can try to subscribe like whoever is watching this or is hearing this YouTube video uh, like subscribe to my channel if you really care about seeing more tutorials about the Windows Live Move Maker um, on another note here I wanna mention something very important for the last few um, like uh, months people were like saying that hey um, yeah although there are some new versions of uh, Windows Live Movie Maker getting uh, on the web and on the net and um, they're saying that it's still bad and still not as good as Windows Movie Maker actually I disagree I mean there are still some features inside Windows Movie Maker that are very good and very valid to use but I mean the basic stuff are already implemented inside the Windows Live Movie Maker let's be reasonable um, I mean another thing I wanna say here is that Windows Live Movie Maker is much easier to use than Windows Movie Maker anyway let's start here I wanna like make sure that everybody here that's watching this video make sure that he's or she's understanding what the terms are uh, called in Windows Live Movie Maker so for example this part here is called the preview window so it's everything that you want to see in your movie project this is a sample of it it's not the final version but it's a sample of what the final version is gonna look like over here you're gonna see a small timeline this line here and the more the this button or this playhead that's what it's called it's playhead whenever you move the playhead here the black bar on the storyboard here this is the storyboard this is the black bar the black bar is called carrot whenever you move the playhead on the timeline here the carrot on the storyboard moves along so they're always in sync that's what you're gonna make sure of that they're always in sync I mean it's supposed to be always in sync if it's not then there's must be something wrong and so far I didn't see anything wrong with that these are called the playback controls you can go backwards you can go forwards by frames here you have only one frame or you can play the video over here you're gonna see that it's called item one of one so if you have two it would be item one of two if only the first one is select over here it's the full screen preview button this got recently added with the latest beta version and this is the full project duration so the full duration of this project that I have right now is five seconds and whenever I drag the carrot to somewhere inside the project the time over here changes so as you can see here it's two seconds so the position of the carrot here is at two seconds inside the project okay let's go over here this button here changes the thumbnail size 
So if you want to make them large, you want to make them extra large, or you want to make them extra small, it's your, it's your um, option, like whatever you want. And I usually prefer to keep it like extra small or small because I don't care like w how big is it on the storyboard. We go a little bit to the right here and you see like a minus sign with a plus sign with a slider. So this slider, w it's, it's usually it's used to slide through a video file. If you know that there's somewhere inside the video file that you want to trim or remove you you make sure that you always have this to the maximum so that you know that you're getting to the right frame because when you split sometimes the frame changes because it always shows on the storyboard the texture of the first frame inside the photo or inside the video I mean always it's gonna show the same the texture of the photo because it's always one frame right oops so another thing here is that make sure that if you don't care about these stuff just always keep it minus as I do because I always keep it like zoomed out and this button here is called the the time scale zoom out for the thumbnails on the storyboard so I've added this story uh, to the storyboard here a photo and I've added the soundtrack now if you go to the ribbon, this is the ribbon, right? And the ribbon got introduced with the Windows 7. And Windows Live Move Maker has the new ribbon, which is very cool because it shows everything that's inside the application onto the ribbon m menu bar. So you won't, like, you shouldn't, uh, if you want, you shouldn't think about anything missing or anything invisible in the application everything is on the ribbon so this is a very good thing about the windows live movie maker it doesn't hide anything from you so if you go to this part of the ribbon the first part is everything related to copy paste cut you can still use ctrl z ctrl c ctrl v to copy paste and cut wherever but you can also use that from the ribbon Add videos and photos. This for this file, this button. Sorry, this button adds the files to the storyboard. You can also do right click, where context menu opens, and you can choose whether you wanna add videos or files, or you wanna zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out is same as this button over here. Anyway, let's go back to the ribbon and continue. The add music. Add music is basically made of two sections. The first section is, section is always always calls this this action, which is add music. It always adds the music. However, if you choose the add music at the current point, which basically is related to the current position of the carrot, you have to always click on the add music at the current point by clicking on the split button over here this is called a split button now if you don't care whether you want to add it to the current position of the carrot or not you just can click the upper part like this and when you open the the, the music you can add the file like I did over here now after we add these you notice that the Windows Live Move Maker latest version have included new auto movie themes which is very cool because we used to have before only one auto movie theme which was i think like similar to maybe pan and zoom but right now you have the default the cinematic the contemporary this is the contemporary this is cinematic this is the fade this pan and zoom this is black and white and this is sepia now I'm using Windows Live Movie Maker on Windows 7 and I definitely and highly recommend that you use Windows Live Movie Maker on Windows 7 because first of all all the codecs for all the video files that you you that you have on the